Dr. Relief Jones from the San Antonio Eye Institute and today I want to go over a common question that we get here at our office pretty much five days a week and that question is you know doc my Botox just simply doesn't last as long as it used to so this is just something that I wanted to discuss because it comes up frequently and I think there are many reasons why this could be happening so first of all let's talk about you know Botox related issues now a lot of these patients who come in and ask me this question are not necessarily patients of ours they are patients that are coming in from other offices and so I've seen a lot of different things over the years and the first is that some offices dilute their Botox with saline and this is something where patients have actually seen it they've seen a bottle that seems to be full to the brim with liquid and that's simply not the case if Botox is being reconstituted the way that the manufacturer recommends that bottle is probably just half full another issue is the proper storage of the medication again I hear stories of patients coming in saying that the doctor went over to the shelf and took the Botox bottle off the shelf again Botox needs to stay refrigerated when it's shipped it's typically shipped on dry ice after it's reconstituted it has to stay refrigerated otherwise it can lose its potency so those are two major issues the the next one is something that is a, a little bit unusual but there are some reports now now that the price of Botox seems to be going up year after year from the manufacturer that docs are finding ways to buy Botox outside of the United States I think this poses a number of problems mainly that of quality control so one of the little tricks that I have found to really know if your doctor's getting Botox from the manufacturer is to simply ask do they participate in brilliant distinctions or the Aspire Rewards program in the case of Disport because to be able to put the manufacturers number from that bottle into brilliant distinctions or to the Aspire Rewards program to give patients points or credit for that treatment that bottle had to have been purchased from the manufacturer if an office says oh no we don't participate in those programs that could be a red flag so pay attention to that now with those types of things off to the side let's just talk about patient related issues there are some issues that are patient related that can cause Botox to wear off quicker number one excessive aerobic activity now I don't think there's anything wrong with aerobic activity every day I think it's a good thing but if you're getting Botox Botox is a toxin exercise washes toxins out of your, out of your body that increased blood flow will cause that medication to have a shorter duration of action so I've seen a number of cases where patients or aerobics instructors Tybo instructors you know they they run a CrossFit center and they're exercising very hard every single day it is not unusual to see that those patients Botox will last on the lower end of the spectrum maybe three months so they will typically need to get treated more frequently the other thing is the big one here's the big one I really think it's unusual but over many years of getting Botox treatments patients can develop antibodies to break down this molecule and so I think some some people's bodies just get smarter over time and it figures out how to deal with this this toxin and so I think there's a, a really neat way to kind of help the patient who finds himself in this situation and I think it's simply to do this this is Botox cosmetic it's onobotulinum toxin A this is Dysport 
it's abobotulinum toxin A. These are both botulinum toxin A products, but they're in slightly different protein structures. Therefore, it gives your body a, a slightly different look. So if you've been receiving one of these products for many years, for example, a lot of my patients are on Botox Cosmetic. And over the years, you know, some patients find that they're just not getting the same results. I say, hey, let's try Dysport. And uniformly, I have found that the patients are once again happy. Their Botox or their botulinum toxin A, I should say, because in this case, they're getting Dysport, is now lasting them a longer period of time. And they're happy. So these are some little tricks of the trade that I've learned over the years you know, doing Botox day in and day out in my office. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to give us a call. We'll be happy to answer any questions. You know, we can be reached at 210-485-1488.